Okay, welcome to the next in my tutorials on how to use uh, various aspects of audio hardware. In the last uh, couple of days, there was a post on the uh, Lexicon forum about how to make the MX400 remember settings that were from the previous session. So as you can see, I've got my TC Near Control Panel with the Studio Connect 48, um, various channels, PPG. The PPG here is actually the uh, um, microphone input. So I'll have the PPG on both left and right coming in on the right channel. JX8P, K5000, Waterf Microwave, TG7. If we look, uh, I've got 5.6 milliseconds of uh, latency with uh, 256 samples. Um, I use the version 2.1.1R2332 of the TC Near Control Panel because this is where it says WDM and ASIO prevent from changing sample rate. That will stop things like Cubase limiting your hardware to 96 kilohertz. You can actually force it by changing the sample rate here to 192 and Cubase will respond. But that's not what this is about. This is about uh, the Lexicon MX400. I've actually got the A and B channel set up on uh, SPDIF and TOS 1 and 2. I'll show you that again uh, a bit later. I also have another effects unit which is uh, I think uh, sending on lines 5 and 6 and returning on 11 and 12. But anyway, we'll just uh, have a look. I've got here the uh, DPC latency checker. It's not perfect but it'll do. So now we go to the Cubase 5 I've set up uh, six. The first six tracks are MIDI tracks, um, of which I've only set up three eight-bar MIDI sequence for the purpose of this demo. So we've got the K5000, JXAP, and the PPG on MIDI. This is the uh, microphone. This is the PPG uh, audio record track, the JXAP record track, and the K5000 record track. Just before I forget, I should show you the VST connections just to prove that what I'm saying is absolutely true. There we go, we get the MX400, the MX400, uh, uh, A and B, and the DRV3000. The DRV3000 is a Korg unit, effects unit. I've got a couple of group and effects channels, and they're the outputs and all of my inputs at this time. So we'll just get out of that. So how does this work? How do I send audio to the effects unit? The recommended way is by via a group track. Now a group track is a series of tracks which are designed to have audio sent to them at various times to reduce the amount of overhead for recording of say reverb rather than having individual reverb on every channel. What people do is set up one reverb on a group channel and then send varying amounts. So if I go to this particular recording channel here and open up, you'll see that rather than using an insert on the left, I'll use a send on the right. And the send to the group channel marked MX400A. And the amount that gets sent there is this blue bar here. Now I can change that or I can key in a number. So that gives you the idea. So the idea is to take whatever is coming in at a certain amount. Now it's, this is more for playback but uh, I'm just doing it for the purpose of this demonstration. I'm doing it on the actual record channel itself. So here's the group track for the DRV3000, the MX400A and MX400B. And this actually matches up. So as I move up and down you'll see there the group tracks. So there we go. We got the MX400. We pull up the channel data. On the insert, I've got the MX400A. Now, it might be getting confusing, but this is the insert to the physical effect. So, the sound that is going to be processed will be processed via this channel, this insert. So, physically to the MX400. So, you could have multiple sends into this channel from various sources to limit how much you're actually using in terms of uh, CPU overhead. So I'll just minimize the uh, group here, but that doesn't actually allow you to control the MX400. So what you need is an FX control channel. Now this one is the MX400 uh, channel A, 
And as you see up here, if I actually open the... Again, it's an insert, but it's an insert to the logical. So this is lexicon logical driver and how to actually send information to it. So it's a separate channel in itself, and it's called an effects channel. Now, if I open up, the, if I edit the actual effects channel, I'll see it appear on the screen. So there it is. And if I actually drop down what I've done previously, you'll see that uh, I've set a ramp up here on this particular effect and a ramp down on the other one. And this one happens to be the MX400 Dual Stereo A Mix 1. So the Mix 1 control is what's going to ramp up. And on this one, it's the Mix 2 control, and it's going to ramp down. So one will go up and the other one will go down. So I'll just minimize this down a bit, and I'll show you what's on the other one. Actually, I'll just open them up both here. So on this particular effects channel, I've got the Dual Stereo Effect 1. So if I now open up... This is the dual stereo channel and here is effect one and what it's actually going to do is choose the effect so this particular patch will vary from high from compressor down to small hall over a period of time designated by this line but the other one here is uh, the MX400 stereo B it's it's called uh, effect 2 CH3 so this is effect 2 and that's this is all of this is effect 2 and this is um, number th the third particular one which is 1, 2, 3 so the feedback will increase over time so at the moment I'll just play the sequence without the actual effects taking place now you watch the mix 1 and mix 2 are increasing and here the effect is actually changing on a delay studio, delay spring, etc. And here the feedback number is increasing as well. So that's all being controlled by the particular effects channel. Going back to the group track, I've also set up uh, the feed in time. So this is the amount of audio signal I want to occur the DRV3000. Uh, I don't. I haven't done anything to the MX 400A and B in this instance. Just take note that you can vary the amount of audio being sent at this point, or any of the other functions that are available here. And similarly, if, um, not that one. They're the particular ones relating to the patch that you've got s uh, loaded. So why don't I unmute these as we're playing? And we'll see that all these uh, things change. You can hear them change. So I'll just start with the DRV 3000 first. You'll be able to hear the sound. It's the, uh, I think it's that bass sound. Okay, you can just hear it coming in now. So that's the feed in, and now I'll turn the. This is the MX 400A, which is this one. You hear it predominantly come in now. Anyway, that's uh, pretty much it. That's how you get your uh, door.
more software to control the MX400 by setting up uh, group sends on the actual uh, playback channel or the monitoring channel or the channel that you're recording uh, and then send a portion of that signal to the group channel and then control the effect via the FX channel. So you set up a channel, an FX channel, assign the controller to it and then uh, you have full control over all the parameters. Anyway, that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, then feel free to leave a comment. Thank you.